In today's video, I want to share with you five hot altcoins that you should have on your radar going into the month of December. Altcoins have been mega, mega hot recently, and I don't expect that to stop any time soon. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some coins that I think have some great gains potential moving forward. My name is Lark. Every day I make videos talking about cryptocurrency investing. So if that's a topic you'd like to learn some more about, maybe just stay up to date with, then you should definitely subscribe to the Lark Davis channel. Also, you can take a quick second and tap on that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. I'd massively appreciate it. And of course, anybody who'd like to receive a notification when I put out a new video, you should click on the notification bell. By the way, I want to tell you about a special Black Friday sale that is currently going on for Wealth mastery. So if you sign up using the link down below in the description over the next few days, you'll get a 33% discount on a three month subscription. Basically buy two months, get one free. This investor report helps keep you ahead of the curve in this fast moving market. We have D5 tutorials, altcoin reviews, airdrops, token sales, interviews, portfolio updates, and much, much more. All of that is just incredible value. So click on that link down below where you can learn more about becoming a member and take advantage of this Black Friday sale. Now let's go ahead and get into our first coin, which is VLaunch. Now VLaunch is a crypto launch pad. Now in general, I have been a bit pessimistic on launch pads over the last few months. There's been so many launch pads, so many junk coins coming out on these launch pads. What makes VLaunch special? What makes VLaunch something worth paying attention to? Well, VLaunch is basically a content creator backed launch pad. So this is being spearheaded by uh, MM Crypto. And basically they have managed to get on board basically every major content creator in crypto. All the big YouTubers, all the big Twitter accounts across multiple language groups. So basically what that means is that any of the coins that launch on VLaunch have access to this amazing network of people immediately. And that means that the coins on VLaunch are probably going to do really, really well when they come out because of the network connections of this huge network of individuals representing millions upon millions of subscribers and, of course, investors into the crypto space. The potential for things to do really, really well on VLaunch is incredibly high. They, of course, are going to be looking at bringing in the best possible tokens uh, for the launch pad. A lot of focus on, you know, metaverse and gaming and all that fun stuff as well, which, of course, is the big trend at the moment. So I think VLaunch is definitely something that you should have on your radar. Now, I've been doing a bunch of tweets about this over the last you know, week or two. They actually gave away a bunch of free tokens, but... You know, there will be coming up on the open marketplace in the not so distant future. So do keep your eyes out for that. This, I think, is going to be an absolutely massive one. It's it's a launch pad, but with the difference because they already have the network in place to bring not only the good sales, but of course, to bring eyes on the projects, which will help the long term price appreciation of the different projects coming out on VLaunch. Now, something also really, really worth pointing out here is how it all works. So the VPAD tokens, you stake them in order to get access to the launches that are happening on VLaunch. And also, it's got a deflationary supply. So not only can you take these coins, stake these coins, get access to some of the hottest sales in the market backed by the top influencers in the market, but also over time, we've got a deflationary supply curve for the VPAD token, meaning that people are going to want to get this token because they are going to want to get into the sales because of what I will assume is going to be the great price performance of basically any of the tokens launching on VLaunch. And then we have this secondary effect of the deflationary supply 
coming in. So I think the launch is going to be really, really big. Like I said, I've been quite pessimistic on a lot of launch pads that I've seen coming out. I feel like Dowmaker and Pokestarter really have cornered enough of the market that a lot of these other guys that have come out really haven't been doing the best sales, the highest quality tokens. A lot of them are launching and not really going anywhere. But because of the V-Launch influencer network, definitely one worth paying attention to. So go over and follow them on, on Twitter to stay up to date with coming sales and of course, how to get your hands on some VPAD tokens. Now, the second coin I wanna talk with you about is called Quid. Now, Quid is an OG of the NFT marketplace scene. So they are working with some incredible brands, as they say here, 325 of the world's most beloved brands. Now, the Quid token is currently trading, so you can go and grab yourself some off the open markets if that is something that you would like to do. But I think that NFTs are not going anywhere. NFTs are only going to get bigger, more prominent, more popular, more people are going to come in. In fact, NFTs will be a red pill moment for a lot of people coming into the crypto market because they're going to want to get a Hulk collectible or a Game of Thrones collectible or whatever it might be. And in order to do that, they're going to need to get a crypto freaking wallet in order to store their NFT. It's going to bring so many people in because the idea of digital collectibles, I know for some people they're still going, but I can just right click, save it, Lark. Digital collectibles are going to be massive. If you see that there is value in an old Magic the Gathering card or an old sports card or an old comic book, how can you not see that there's value in the digital equivalents of any of those things that have actual, verifiable, unique value? So NFT marketplaces, I think there's still such a massive scope for these to be really, really big. Quid is also backed directly by Animoca Brands. Now, if you're not familiar with Animoca Brands, these guys are some of the, the, the biggest, one of the biggest names right now in the metaverse gaming NFT space. These guys were early in behind Axie Infinity and some of the other biggest games and biggest NFT uh, marketplaces. They're early investors in OpenSea and stuff like that. So they know what's going on. They know what is good. They understand this market. So it's been really, it's a really, really interesting one. They're working with massive, massive brands. I mean, we got Rick and Morty, Disney, Game of Thrones, lots of other stuff. As you can see here, we got, got the Hulk and stuff on here. So really, really big NFT collections that they're working with here. They're also, it's not a new company necessarily. Their token's new. Right, so the quid utility token that is kind of acting as the uh, utility token for the collectors, creators, and developers in the quid marketplace, that's new. But quid itself has actually been around for quite a while. In fact, digital collectibles on quid predate CryptoKitties by more than 18 months. And of course, CryptoKitties was one of the first really big NFT things that came out. So these guys are an OG when it comes to the NFT place. They were in NFTs before anybody's even talking about NF freaking T's. Now, of course, this is their marketplace that you can be a part of by holding on to their tokens. So they have 70,000 unique items waiting to be discovered. You can also buy and sell in USD, which is pretty gosh darn cool. So they've got a lot of really cool stuff going on. This is because of who's backing it, because of the age of it, because of the incredible brands that they're working with, Quid is one to have on your radar. Next, I wanna talk about Savage. Now this is the world's first carbon neutral video and photography NFT marketplace, powered of course by the Savage token. Now the idea here is basically to see Savage become Shutterstock, which is the you know, world's biggest stock photo site, but on chain, bringing in NFTs for verifiable uniqueness and, of course, to allow for better money to come back into the hands of the actual creators themselves. So they're actually giving back 85% 
on each sale back to creators. And kind of the idea here is that we've got, what, seven point something billion people out in the world. Most of them have smartphones. So all of these people taking these amazing photos all over the world can actually come in all these different photographers from all around the world, videographers from all around the world, and come into a marketplace like Savage, post their stuff as NFTs, and then people can come and buy and use those NFTs that will, of course, come with uh, you know the, the rights to use that picture or video actually built into the NFT. So it's a very, very cool idea, very powerful idea. I think photos and NFTs, videos and NFTs, really just go together so gosh darn well. Now the people behind Savage are both videographers and photographers for National Geographic. So they're people who know about videos, know about photography, and of course have great connections because they've worked with some of the most incredible brands in the world. We're talking Tesla and Amazon, National Geographic, the BBC, all of these massive, massive players. Now the Savage token itself, of course, will be the utility token of the Savage ecosystem. So it'll allow people for buying and selling the different photos within that uh, ecosystem. So this is definitely one I I'm very excited about keeping an eye on. Obviously, like I said, I think that photos and NFTs, videos and NFTs in terms of stock footage and stuff like this is just such a big opportunity if they get it right. And I think because of Savage's connections with the industry already, there's a high chance that Savage could be the ones to get it right, which is why it is on my watch radar right now. Now, currently they haven't actually had their public sale, so you're still waiting on that. It should be coming sometime like mid-December, so keep an eye out for that. Come over here, of course, and follow them on Twitter so you can keep up to date when they do have that sale coming up in the not-so-distant future. The fourth coin on our list today is D-Travel. Now, these guys are basically making the Airbnb of the blockchain world, which is an idea that we have heard before. However, what made me really stop and take notice of D-Travel is who is behind it, who are the people who are pushing D-Travel and launching it. Well, it is the guys over at Travala. Now, this is very, very interesting because these guys have incredible experience in actually running a successful travel company. Travala right now, of course, is the premier travel company in terms of flights, uh, booking hotels and stuff like that, booking activities, all payable with like a hundred different cryptos or something like that. So Travala has been very, very successful and now they're launching basically the Airbnb of the crypto world, which if done right, I think is an incredibly powerful, powerful idea. So as they say, it's the evolution of home sharing. So how do they get people on board? Well, of course, giving back more to the hosts as Airbnb has gone on over time, it has become more and more calcified, more and more stock holder driven in terms of we have to keep providing returns, we have to keep growing, you know, quarterly profits and all that stuff. So the prices, the fees on Airbnb, of course, are redonkulous. I don't know if you guys have booked anything on Airbnb recently, but the fees get pretty gosh darn crazy. So I feel like Airbnb is this centralized model that's totally ripe for disruption. D-Travel, of course, has a chance to do that. Now, it's a big hill to climb. Obviously, Airbnb's got a, a pretty gosh darn big head start. But if they can communicate the value proposition across to hosts and say, hey, look, you're going to save dramatically on your fees. Come and list on D-Travel as well, and you can put more money back in your pocket at the end of the day versus staying with this centralized service that's taking a crazy middleman fee. And of course, as a traveler, you're also going to save, so you'll get um, lower transaction fees with your D-Travel tokens, better rewards and stuff like that as well. So it's a very, very interesting idea. Obviously, somebody who's enjoyed using Airbnb a lot in the past and seen, you know, the slow progression of the fees rising and all that stuff over time and realizing kind of where it's gone and what's happened to it, you start to look around and realize, well, there's actually potential here for disruption. And 
I would not be super excited about the D-Travel idea if it wasn't for the fact that the Travala team is behind this because we've seen other Airbnbs on the blockchain come out before. However, none of them actually had this kind of actual experience in running a crypto-based travel service like Travala has. So they've literally been, you know, booking so many flights, so many hotels for years. Travala has been around for years now, and it's just growing in success all of the time. So seeing D Travel come out is a very, very interesting value proposition for them here. Now, if you do want to get some, it will be listing um, very, very soon if it hasn't already been listed by the time that you watch this video. So they've just completed a, a whole bunch of different um, token sales across a wide variety of platforms. We can see here the final one was uh, Polka Starter. Uh, on the 26th, we had also the Bybit Launchpad, MEXC, and Gates. So these are Polka Starters, one of the biggest launch pads. Bybit's, of course, massive, and Gates, absolutely massive. MEXC, also, you know, well represented there. So it's a big, big amount of really high quality launch pads pushing the D Travel token out. So I would just say, though, if you are looking to get into D Travel, watch out for that initial listing pump. What we see so often happen with these early listings, big pumps, and then of course the price comes back down quite a bit after the initial massive frenzy is over. So if you are looking to get a position in D Travel, if you think it's something that's interesting for you to check out, then definitely take your time, be patient, try and get a good entry. Don't FOMO in in the first five minutes of it getting listed. And last, but certainly not least, is Rainmaker Games. Now, this is another one that hasn't released yet. It should be coming out uh, mid-December sometime. So go and follow them, of course, over on Twitter. Keep up to date with their token launch that is coming up in the not-so-distant future. Now, what is Rainmaker Games and what the heck are they doing? Well, of course, they are tapping in to the gaming world. So essentially, they're building a free global play to earn gaming platform. So they are basically building an access point for a massive play to earn world to happen. So it allows people to come in and to play, to earn, to learn, to connect, to basically come in and start being able to access NFTs to play the games. Because a lot of these games actually require you to have an NFT creature or player or whatever it might be to actually come in and play the game, but not everybody has those or can afford to have those. So that is a very, very interesting thing here that they're actually offering the ability to play these games for free, which is a very, very big thing. And you will actually earn in those games getting coaching from top players and stuff like this. So it's, I feel like it's a revolutionary potential part of the play to earn gaming ecosystem because it's allowing a wider variety of people to come in to actually just play and experiment with some of these games and actually have uh, free play using quality assets within these games because even the people who are playing the games aren't playing 24 hours a day they're playing some hours a day, right? And so what they're doing is connecting right across all the most popular blockchains for gaming, Solana, Polygon, Binance, Smart Chain, Ethereum, Immutable X. These are where we're seeing a lot of games being built, a lot of attention going into gaming on these four chains in particular, and obviously Ethereum is the, the OG home of big cryptocurrency games. Now, what I like here is, of course, the tapping into the gaming uh, metaverse trend but the ability to bring in so many more people and to make your gaming NFTs even more useful by being able to do stuff like rent out your NFTs. So players will be able to sell or loan their NFTs to earn profits and passive income from their assets. So let's imagine that you've been playing Axie Infinity a lot. You really enjoy playing Axie Infinity. You have some great, great Axies, some really high quality ones that you know, uh, are worth a lot of money, but you only play the game 10 hours a week. Well, what about the other 100 and some plus hours in the week? You can be renting out your axes. That, of course, is massive. You can be getting passive income from your axie during that time. 
So this is a very, very interesting idea. We're also going to have um, credit card access, so it makes it even easier for people to come in and you know rent these higher quality items from people and stuff like this. So while it is a free uh, service on the front end, you also have the option within the service to be able to you know rent more premium items and stuff like that from players. So very, very cool idea. They're also, of course, backed by some very big names, Animoca Brands, backed by Polygon as well. Of course, we're all big Polygon fans around here, backed by Republic, which is a massive name. CMS, also a very high quality uh, venture capital firm. So I think what Rainmaker is doing is just tapping into the absolute right trend at the right time, coming and bringing this ability to make play to earn gaming even easier is massively important and of course being backed by all these big brands and and having all these extra functionalities within their their play to earn ecosystem massive massive I and mean, this is the biggest trend happening right now in the entire cryptocurrency market metaverse in gaming it's just so hot it's so big and it's going to be even bigger and hotter than it is right now even though we're going through a, a temporary sort of hype cycle for those assets zoom down the road a few years this stuff is going to be absolutely huge so anybody who can build the kind of infrastructure needed to bring more players into that world I think it's going to do very, very well. And that's, of course, exactly what Rainmaker is trying to do. Anyway, those are just the five coins that I have got on my radar personally for the month of December. There's lots of great coins out there, of course. So your question for today, what is the coin that I have not talked about today that everybody absolutely should have their eyes on? Let us all know down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.